The text tools let you create 2D or 3D solid or surface text using any standard system font that's loaded on your machine. Let's begin by looking at the Place Text tool. With that tool active, we can click anywhere in our modeling window. That brings up the 3D text editor dialog where we can type in the text. We can change our font, and these are fonts that are currently loaded on your machine. We can change the size or justification. Click the OK button and the text is generated in the modeling window. Just like the other operations in Form Z, it's in the result buffer mode so we can modify any of the parameters of that text. So we can modify the height, modify the position, or rotation of that text in 3D space. If we look at the Tool Options palette, we can see that there's additional parameters that we can modify. For example, we can modify the justification to be left right or center of our click point location. We can change it from a surface to a solid object. And when we change it to a solid, we see we get the additional depth parameter to control the depth of that three-dimensional text. As I change these dynamically, you can see that I can also type in numeric information at any time for the height and depth of that 3D text. One other parameter that I would like to look at is the standing perpendicular to plane option, which will then force the text to be perpendicular to the current plane of where you clicked on to create that 3D text. Hit the escape key or select your next tool to begin your next operation and all the controls are gone. To bring those controls back, we'll look at three different methods. The first method is to use the edit text tool and select the text object and it brings up the 3D text editor dialog box again. So we can modify our text, our text string, our font, and any of the other parameters here. Click the OK button and the text is automatically updated. If you have the pick tool active, you can right click on your text object and use the show controls option. And that'll bring us the visible controls to further modify the height, depth, and any of the other visible controls to modify that 3D text. The third method is if the object is selected, we can look in the Tool Options palette, and with the Parameters tab selected, you can see all the parameters that we changed when we first created the text object are all available inside the Tool Options and can be modified whenever you want. Next, we'll look at the Text Along Path tool. We begin by creating a path, which can be created from any of the drawing tools, or you can derive a path from an existing object that's already in your scene. With the Text Along Path tool active, click on your path, and in the 3D Text Editor dialog, you can type in the text string and choose the font and size, just like in the previous text tool. Click the OK button, and now the text is generated along that path. In the Result Buffer mode, we can modify the path after the text is placed on it. We can also modify the parameters inside the Tool Options palette. Many of these parameters are similar to the previous text tool that we just looked at. For example, we can generate it as a solid, we can stand it perpendicular to the current plane, and change the depth of the 3D text. There's three new parameters that are associated with the text along path operation. And these are the path options. The default is to scale the height and width of the text to match along the entire linear length of your path. We can change that option to preserve height and width, and now, the actual height and depth values that you give it will be maintained, so your text may not follow the entire length of the path. If you choose the Scale Width Only, then the height of the text that you have defined in the Tool Options palette is maintained, but it will scale it along the width to make sure that that text fits from the very beginning to the end of your path line. The Parallel Text tool generates text along a path and maintains the height to be parallel to that original path profile. For example, we will select the Parallel Text tool, click on our path, type in the text string that we want, and click the OK button. In the 3D text that is created, you can see that the height is parallel to that original path. Just as in the previous examples, we can modify the path after the text is created. And we can also modify any of the text parameters inside the Tool Options palette. The fourth and last text generation tool allows us to place text along two different paths. For example, we'll create two paths. 
using either the drawing tools or deriving them from existing objects. And with the two path text tool selected, click on your two paths, type in the text string that you want, click the OK button, and the 3D text is generated along both of those paths. Just as in the previous text tools, we can modify the path after the object is created. We can also modify tool option parameters with all the same parameters that we've seen with the previous text tools. And in addition, there's three new buttons that are in the text along two path tool. We can reverse the direction of either one of the paths or both of those paths in case one of the paths are going in the opposite direction, which could create some twisting of that text. And the last text tool that we'll look at is the Find Text tool, which doesn't create text. It allows us to find, search, and replace text with a specific set of criteria. For example, let's say we want to change the text string that says Easy with a different text in all the items in our project. So with the Find Text tool active, we can click a blank area. And this brings up the 3D Text Search and Replace dialog. In the top portion, we will give it the criteria that it'll search for. For example, we can look for text that has a certain type of font, a certain size, or a certain type of text string. In this case, we'll select the search string option. We'll type in the text string that we are looking for, such as easy. And then in the bottom half of this dialog, we can enter the criteria that we would like to re replace it with. So for example, we can choose the replace string option type in the string that we would like to replace it with. And at the bottom, we can select the Find button, which will find each of the instances of the text string that we specified in our criteria and our search criteria at the top. We can replace each of these instances one by one, or we can select the Replace All button, in which it'll now select all the strings in the project based on your criteria and replace them all with our new replacement string. So now you can see that it replaced these strings with our new text string that we placed in our Find Text tool. And this concludes the text tutorial.